Hi, my name is Dean Bragonier. I'm the founder and executive dyslexic of a brand new nonprofit organization called Noticeability. I represent 20% of the population. I have what is called a learning disability called dyslexia. Because our entire educational system is based on the translation, the transmission of education comes through written word. The first benchmark of one's intelligence is their ability to learn how to read. And we fail miserably. Very often, that failure is reinforced by hazing from our peers, being told we're stupid, lazy, indolent, and sometimes even by our teachers themselves. We eventually believe we are those things when in actuality a majority of dyslexics are intelligent or above average intelligence. Now, very often this deficiency in self-esteem lends itself to poor decision making. When kids get into middle school and high school, dyslexics very often represent about 35% of the attrition rate. We also represent 50% of all adolescents involved in drug and alcohol abuse and 60% of all kids involved in juvenile delinquency. Dyslexics, when fully empowered and recognizing their true intellectual capacities can achieve great things. We have tremendous examples ranging from Einstein to JFK to John Lennon to Richard Branson to Charles Schwab, these are not outliers as you may want to think. In actuality, their success and their prowess in architecture, entrepreneurship, engineering, and the arts is rooted in neuroscience. In fact, 35% of all entrepreneurs have dyslexia, and 40% of all self-made millionaires have dyslexia. 50% of all NASA employees have dyslexia. I created Noticeability in order to reach those dyslexic students whose self-esteem has been battered and who find very little hope in their educational paths. I've reached out to some of the best institutions in the country, Harvard Business School, Harvard School of Education, Tufts University, and the Carroll School, which is a dyslexic K-8 school and I've asked them to help create four curriculum paths. Entrepreneurial leadership, engineering, architecture, and the arts. And what we are doing collectively is we are distilling those subject matters to an age-appropriate level and then embedding them into an e-learning platform that affords us the opportunity to teach dyslexics through alternative methods so that a student can learn a lesson plan by either watching a video, listening to an audio presentation of that lesson plan, looking at a graphic or a pictorial representation of that lesson plan. But the whole idea is that this e-learning platform is then given to nonprofit organizations, public schools and private schools so that they can start to engage students with dyslexia in a way that not only enables those students to feel valued, but in order to keep them engaged in the educational process. The beauty is very simple. What we've done is we've taken the power of learning and given it back to the student. This is when I ask for your help. Your tax deductible contribution will enable me to build these four different curriculum verticals. Now, I understand you're asked by a lot of nonprofits for assistance. And so what I've tried to do is I've tried to distinguish my crowdfunding campaign from all the rest by doing somewhat of a daunting task. I have decided to make the first official circumnavigation swim of the island of Martha's Vineyard this summer. This is a 50 mile swim that I have divided into 27 different legs. Each one of those legs is gonna be brought to you through a video blog which is gonna introduce you to members of the dyslexic community who have succeeded because of their dyslexia, not despite it. Now I know what's on everybody's mind. This is the 40th year anniversary of the filming of Jaws, which was directed by a dyslexic, Steven Spielberg. People have expressed concern and I've heeded their warning and I've taken a very significant mitigating step. I've reached out to a friend. I'd like to introduce you 
to who you know as the Boston Bruins' little ball of hate, Mr. Brad Marchand. Brad, I can't thank you enough. I feel uh, a lot safer knowing you're going to be in the water with me. Yeah, Dean, you really should. You know, there's uh, nothing's going to get by these guns, and got to make sure I get my bronze on. I think you know, I'm looking pretty good right now, if I do say so myself. So, looking forward to it. Brad Marchand, you are so vain. I'm Carly Simon, and I'm so vain. I'm also doing this swim. I'm also dyslexic. Can you take care of me, Brad? Can you? Well, that was a little bit awkward. Uh, nonetheless, uh, I still need your help. Please consider a gift to Noticeability. Help me build this tool to unlock the potential hidden in all of these students with dyslexia. Follow, if you would, on social media, my swim, the video blogs featuring these amazing individuals that have prospered as a result of their dyslexia. And join us in changing the way these individuals see themselves and how they can benefit our society at large. Thank you so much.